Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deach here, and I'm coming to you from Homa, Louisiana to check out the Louisiana Folklife Museum. I've heard great things about this. Let's go check that out. We're along this little bayou here, and I noticed you can see some turtles hanging out. But over here, it's kind of hard to see, but in the water where those ducks are, actually, I think those are fake ducks. Maybe decoy ducks, weird. But there's like this fake alligator nestled in the water there. That big green thing that's supposed to be an alligator. Interesting. So apparently this bayou right here, this is Bayou Terrebonne, and in the late 1800s and early 1900s, the bayou right here was Homa's busiest thoroughfare. There were hunters, trappers, fishermen, all bringing seafood and animal hides to the market. The downtown Homa, Louisiana Folklife Museum. It's not very big, but I'm curious to see what's on the inside there. It's also known as the Water Life Museum. On the outside out here, we've got a little mural. It says, The Great Acadian Upheaval. All the exiled Acadians become Louisiana Cajuns. It's talking about the monument that's right there. This is interesting. There's a cross right on the top of it there. Talks about the Great Acadian Upheaval. I'm guessing when the Acadians moved from their original location to Louisiana. So the red denotes 1755 to 1762 deportations. The blue denotes the 1755 to 1816 migrations. And you can see all the different deportation times and migration times for the Acadians. A lot of them come from Canada some from France, some went to France. A lot of them went along the east coast there of the United States, but a big majority of them came here to Louisiana. The Acadie, established by France in 1604, was a strategically located and highly coveted colony. In 1713, it was handed over to England and renamed Nova Scotia. The foundation of Halifax in 1749 led part of the Acadian population to move to French territory. The remaining Acadians were still perceived as a threat, and in 1755 the British authorities launched their systematic deportation, splitting up families and communities, seizing all lands and possessions. Over 2,500 Acadians settled in the Spanish colony of Louisiana between 1764 and 1788. Although victims of the deportation, none were deported directly to Louisiana. All right, let's go check the inside of this place out. As soon as you walk in, there's a map on the wall of South Louisiana. And this really pretty mural kind of rounds the corner here. And I can hear some music in the background. I think there's a live band back there somewhere. They have a gift shop here. I like these little signs, beware of the alligators. And up on the shelf here is this wooden display of a pelican welcoming us to Louisiana. This is what looks like a quilting table. This really pretty quilt up here, already made. Because we're in Homa, most of the shirts say home sweet Homa. I like this one. This one's cool. The U has the little Florida Lee in there. And over here is another Homa, Louisiana shirt, established 1834, Terrebonne Parish. These display cases have some cool artifacts in here, some shells, some little stone workings, some bayou-related tools. That's really cool. And you can't go wrong without some crochet animals and a big wooden alligator holding up the books. I'm Rosie the Rosate Spoonbill. And I'm curious about the rich lands and waters of Terrebonne. Let's explore them together in this museum. On the wall here, you've got Terrebonne water life with some pictures of life on the bayou. We got these really cool wooden boat structures, like little models that were put together, including some swamp cabins. Wow, this is amazing looking. That is so cool. 
Looks like whoever's living in that place needs to watch out for the alligator there. And I do believe that would be the Rougarou. The Rougarou. This is what life out there on the bayou would be like. Really beautiful mural right here on the wall. That is incredible and it's very big. It goes all the way around that corner there. Beautiful sights of the freshwater marsh. And the Louisiana coast with the barrier island beaches. It's pretty amazing. Here's an area showing the redfish and the story behind the redfish and how they are the angler's favorite. And Chef Paul Perdome here seemed to have enjoyed redfish too, making the iconic black and redfish meal. Do you have what it takes to handle oyster rakes? I'm going to see if I have what it takes to handle these oyster rakes. An oyster dredge. That's what they look like. And look, if you look on the deck there, it's full of oyster shells. And it's grabbing them all from the bottom of the floor of the, the water there. Look, see the little net that he's got? Pulling it along with him. That's pretty cool. Yep, and these nets here are trolling for shrimp. Off of this here boat, the shrimp boat. That's pretty amazing. And up on top of this case are some more model shrimp boats. This is an old marine compass. Doesn't say the age of it, but it looks fairly old. Here's a check from the St. Martin Oyster Company from 1931 for $31.50. Some old hand augers for drilling. Look at that. Pre-power tools. Louisiana is known for its cypress forests. A lot of cypress trees around here. I even have one in my yard. So here's a big piece of cypress and it's got some numbered rings around it and each of the rings are dated according to this little map here. Number one, that ring denotes 1699 when Louisiana was founded. Number two is 1776 when the Declaration of Independence was signed. You can see as it just keeps going further out and out and out. Number seven there is when man first landed on the moon and it's 1969. It's amazing. It's an old tree. Here's some trapping tools. It's one of Terrebonne Parish's largest income producers for the first half of the 20th century. Trapping. And look, Nutria, which is like a big rat, native of South America, it was introduced in the 30s to enhance trapping in Louisiana. But in the 1980s, as fur became less fashionable, the Nutria population exploded, leaving the marshlands overrun with Nutria. And now those things are everywhere. There's a big alligator here. King of the Marsh, Cajuns call him a coca tree. Whatever name you pick though, alligator is America's largest reptile. On the back here on the wall, you can see a picture of the white alligator. The famous white alligators were found first here in Terrebonne Parish. And unlike the albino with its absence of pigment, these rare alligators actually have pigment in their eyes, which are blue. Look at this alligator guarding her babies, guarding her eggs that have just hatched. Look at all the little baby gators all running around there. A handmade, hand-carved boat hanging up here on the ceiling. 
and underneath it are some tools that would have been used to harvest the wood and carve that boat down. Homa is considered the Venice of the Americas because of all the bayous and canals that actually extend out from the center of Homa. And if you look here at this map, you can see all the different bayous and systems that come off of it. There's a little boat here that you can actually move around. Maybe, there we go. All down the little waterways and canals. That's pretty cool. This mural here shows an oil rig above the water and below the water and basically how it sits, I guess, on the ground and all the different ways it loads the supplies onto ships and offloads the supplies onto other ships. We just kind of happened to stumble into this room where this live band is playing some Cajun style music. tell you what this was a nice surprise this museum was really cool if you're ever in Homa come check this out because it was amazing it was walking around it's not very big but the stuff you see in there was pretty cool it showed life in Louisiana life on the bayou and what a unique thing to happen as we just happened upon this little concert that was going on with people dancing and having a good time in the middle of the day in the middle of a weekday no less it was it was awesome. We had a great time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this hoot at out here in Homa, Louisiana at the Louisiana Folk Life Museum or Water Life Museum. We'll pass a good time.